main reason that I volunteer is just the stewardship of the parks and allowing other people to hopefully discover that same joy as they get out in our parks. My name is Sylvan Rood. Uh, my primary role is as theoretically as a park patroller, but I do have a lot of different roles that I do within open space, including an education specialist and frog watch and do a bark patrolling and bike patrolling. So I've got a lot of different hats that I wear. It's all very enjoyable though. I've been volunteering for about five years now. I went to the open house and just went, that's it. And I put in my application for like five different positions. I'm not, I'm not the standard volunteer by any means. Sylvan to date has put in over 1800 hours, which is an unbelievable amount of time. Sylvan really deserves the John Litz Lifetime Achievement Award. He just continually wants to learn. He seems to not want to be complacent in anything he does. Every year that I've known him, he wants to try a new volunteer program, he wants to do more trainings, and he always wants to evolve and be better, kind of like a robot. He is positive, he is helpful, he shares his own experiences with visitors. He's just an awesome person to be around. Sylvan's one of those volunteers who not only really adores the parks, but he also adores the visitors of the parks. When I talk to him about his interactions with people, he just lights up and he really loves to educate them in a very positive way. One of the hallmarks of the John Litz Award is the ability of the recipient to embody consistency in furthering the mission of open space. And Sylvan does that through and through every day he comes to volunteer. One example of Sylvan going above and beyond is his work at Centennial Cone Park. On Biker Only Day, he greets non-bikers that arrive at the park. They approach him and he says, would you like the good news or the bad news? The good news is, is I brought donuts. The bad news is you can't hike in this park today, but there are many other parks that you can visit that are nearby. And he redirects them to other hikes that they can enjoy rather than Centennial Cone Park. I actually got uh, feedback from hikers that ran into him and they thought he was an excellent example for volunteers in, in open space. One of the skills that really stands out for Sylvan is his ability to connect with others. He has a very relaxed and non-confrontational style. And the benefit of that is that visitors really believe what he teaches and they do the right thing when they aren't being watched. He really does meet every challenge that he encounters with um, intelligence and grace. There are a couple of things that I'm pretty proud of as working as a volunteer with Open Space. I've been able to demonstrate to other volunteers that we don't have to be pigeonholed into a particular place in the organization, that we can do a variety of different things. The other thing that I'm actually pretty proud of is how much I've expanded my knowledge as I've done the educational work. Google has become my very deep friend. <laughs> Volunteering is extremely gratifying to me. I love it. It gives me outside. It gives me a lot of interaction with different people. and It gives me a chance to educate. It is one of the main focal points of my life and I enjoy doing it every day I can. <laughs>